Well, hey guys, welcome back. Rapido has released USRA DS boxcars. These are 40 foot boxcars. I don't know a lot about them, and I lost my cheat sheet. I can't find a whole lot online. So, that makes this a product demo where I just kind of show you what you get from the car, wing my way through it, which, is, let's be honest, is a lot of my reviews and videos anyway. But this one, because we're on the move to the new state and we're in between it, my cousin's layout is going to be quicker than usual with less effort. So, Apologies in advance, but let's get started on the review. It's called a product demo of the US RADS boxcar from Rapido, HO scale, of course. All right, let's open this up. In the box, White River Flyer. Something that just fell on the ground, and a USRA 40 foot double sheet boxcar. That's what the DS stands for, double sheet. And it talks about it here, so I'll be able to help you a little bit. So, all on my own, without even knowing anything about this boxcar, I can tell you that during World War I, the US railroads were struggling to keep up with wartime traffic, in part because of a shortage of serviceable freight cars. In an attempt to solve the problem, President Wilson nationalized the railroads under the U.S. Railway Administration, or USRA. One of the first tasks assigned to the USRA was to develop common designs for new freight cars. Among these was a 40-foot double sheathed wood box car with a fish belly steel underframe. So these are circa 1918 and there's more information about it, I guess, for you pausers out there that like pausing the video to read. There you go. Pause away. But below is some of the pictures, or one of the pictures, and above a picture of, uh, I guess, what we call like their demo. Back, exploded parts diagram, you break apart, you just coordinate the number of the part you broke it, and you call Rapido. Uh, Jason's personal phone at about 3 o'clock in the morning should do just fine. And inside the box is the box car itself. And here is the Rock Island version. So, with that said, we'll get a little closer, a little more comfortable, cozy up to this while maintaining social distancing from the boxcar and take a closer look. All right, all nice and cozy, close to the car. Brake wheel right here on the old fashioned cars. The brake wheel ran all the way up the side. I'll show you that on the end. And it had access at the top along with a crew walkway, which is wooden, and that runs all the way down the car and kind of creates an S formation, comes up to here. At the end of that crew walkway are a whole array of grab irons so that the crew could access the walkway on the roof. And you've got the box door itself, that's a fixed box door, it does not open, but it does have nice detail. Now I've been told these don't open because to make them functional makes the sized parts way oversized in order to get them to open and close. So people that are very specific to detail like Rapido uh, don't want to do that and didn't in this case. Um, also on the other end, more grab irons and some plating, reinforced steel plates to reinforce the car as you can see with even the little rivet detail on that. Corrugated sides See that fine corrugation of the car? This is Rock Island, all that print is nice and legible as you can see, very, very legible with the naked eye. And has the capacity of the cars on there, build dates, etc. on this end, same deal. You can read that probably if you blow it up in HD 1080p, you could read it pretty easily. Now we're gonna zoom out, take a look at the bottom of the car. There's that fish belly bracing they call, they talked about there in the intro that I did not read but knew about off the top of my head because I'm not good. And you can see all of the underside corrugations of the what would be the wood floor past the, all the bracing, the airline hoses, and even the little airline or air chambers there to kind of contain air as it needs to be released. Let's talk about the ends real quick. 
slightly out of focus, but you have that brake wheel I told you about. Runs all the way up and down. There's also a little crew access ladder on the side so they can get up on the stand and operate the brake wheel from there if necessary. Brake chain, coupler cut bar, and air hose along with couplers on there. So all nice and, and good. I believe those are metal couplers. PD couplers, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that because like I said, things are a little loosey-goosey as I do this from the road here. So 40 just gives me a part number, doesn't really tell me what kind of coupler it is on the exploded parts diagram, so I don't know, but everything looks good. They are free rolling. Trucks look a little loose out of the box, could have been uh, the long trip from up north. But they roll freely and uh, they can handle turns pretty well. Alright, just another version I wanted to show you real quick. This is Northern Pacific. Uh, and as you can see, Northern Pacific on the left there, the NP logo on the right. Main Street of the Northwest was their logo during that time period. And if you're ever looking for what and when time periods are, they're usually stamped on the car. Like I said, these cars were commissioned to be done around 1918, but so that's your era. These are really, really, really older cars that are never seen anywhere on the rails today, maybe in a park somewhere. So here's CB and Q everywhere west. Hard to tell if the trucks are, are the exact same color as the body. I mean, Rapido usually does their homework, but it seems a little bright. Not sure on that one. Everything else, uh, par for the course in terms of detail. Not gonna bore you with repeating myself. Just wanted to show you the everywhere west slogan, CB and Q version. Last but not least, Great Northern Scheme here. See America first. Glacier National Park was a on the slogan there during that era. As you can see all that printing is great and the details have not changed from what we talked about so I won't rehash those again. This is the last scheme of different schemes uh, that I uh, was able to show you so with that said kind of a recap they run smoothly one pair of loose trucks easily tightened up from probably a long transit Separately applied grab irons, walkways, steel reinforced panels uh, with the rivet detail, nice underbody, coupler cut bars, and um, couplers. We aren't able to run through all the tests here, but they are free rolling. Only one had body wobble. And it was uh, associated with that truck that needed to be tightened up. Other than that, great car. It's your choice if uh, you model that era. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.